Firstly, Jackson, welcome to Sheffield. It's been everywhere, hasn't it, that you've been coming to us, but now the, uh, the secret is no longer a secret. Yeah, no, definitely. Thank you for having me. And obviously, um, you know, it was a huge move uh, for myself, and it was really one of the hardest decisions that I've really ever had to make in my hockey career and in my life so far. And um, obviously, you know, speaking with the people here, I obviously, you know, speaking about Belfast, I love Belfast, and I do love the city and the fans there. But at the stage I'm in right now in my career, um, it was kind of a move I really had to make. Um, for a lot of reasons, really, and speaking with the team and obviously what they're doing and building for next year, I'm really excited to be a part of that and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, what things can Sheffield do then that, that other places couldn't have done? Why? What was it that Paul said to you that you thought, hey, my career can go in a different direction if I come here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously with the team they're building next year, you know, I mean, we're building to, they're, we're here to win the league. That's our job here. That's what we're here. We're getting brought in to do. Uh, a couple other things he was talking about, you know, one option was bringing over a goalie coach as well to help work with me, you know, to possibly, if I do well here, maybe have the chance to maybe move on to a different European league. Um, you know, they were talking about bringing a guy in maybe every six weeks or something like that, a goalie coach from Sweden. Obviously, um, you know, a couple of things with the exhibition games, we're playing against a couple of Swedish league teams. Um, you know, obviously the fact that my brother's getting to come here, they're willing to take a chance on him and bring him over. Um, obviously, we're two different players, and I'm sure at some point in our career, you know, we're playing with each other now, maybe playing against each other in the future, who knows. But right now, they're willing to take a chance on him as well. And that was definitely, um, you know, something as well. And I'm just, there's a lot of other things as well, and I'm just looking forward to being here. Belfast, a great club, a great city, a great organization, and you left them with a trophy as well. Yeah, no, it was awesome. My two years in Belfast was amazing. Uh, I had a great time there. I got to meet a lot of people. The fan support there really is incredible. And um, no, yeah, we got to win the Challenge Cup last year with a great group of guys. I'm really excited to be able to bring that trophy back to Belfast. You know, maybe one day, who knows what happens, maybe come back there. But, uh, you know, just wait and see. Yeah. You also know a fair few of the Steelers British yeah. guys as well from the GB contingents, John O'Daddy, Benny and, and, and alike. Uh, was there any conversation with them pre-move? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I spoke with them uh, a lot at the Team GB. They're, uh, you know, just they're a great group of guys, to be honest with you, and they're obviously the core of this team. And it's, uh, you know, just hearing them talk about the city and about the team and the fans here and kind of, uh, you know, everything that goes on. Um, you know, they did kind of just, I know you're not persuading me, but it was just nice to talk to them about it before making the decision to come over. Reassurance. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You say the championship is the, the number one goal here. Is that is that the message that the coach has left you and the other players with? You're here to win the league title? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're here to win the league, and that's what uh, we're here to do. Speaking with those guys, they're passionate about that. They want to win the league. Um, obviously, you know, playoffs is huge. Challenge Cup is huge as well. It'd be great to win all three, but we're really, you know, the league's the most important thing, and that's what we're here to win. Yeah, that was in Bracknell, Belfast, Cardiff, and for lengthy periods of time. He was only in Sheffield for a, a short period, but he made a great impact on everybody he, he met here. Any conversations with him about coming here? Yeah, just a, I mean, just a little bit more about, uh, you know, obviously he knows a lot of the staff members here from before and, uh, you know, talking about what a great organization it was as well, you know, in comparison with Belfast. And, uh, you know, he had nothing but good things to say about it. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to getting things going. Yeah, and uh, your diary from now to the start of training camp, you back in Belfast and then back home, I take it? Yeah, back to Belfast for the next couple of weeks uh, to finish my schooling program that I'm doing there. And then I'm flying back to Canada, going to be training there for two months and then get back over here, um, I think at the start of August, August to get things going. Good, good. And you've been over to the arena. Of course, you know arenas. You've played in this arena so many times, but you've so your first visit into the Steelers dressing room today. Yeah, I definitely took a look around. You know, it's a great arena, great facilities, and... Uh, you know, looking forward to it. I haven't gone into the actual training center, the workout area yet. Uh, so looking forward to taking a look after that, coming here to puck stop, obviously, to sort out the gear and stuff like that. So uh, it's been a pretty cool day. Goalies and equipment, it's very <laughs> pernickety, isn't it? And uh, the guys here at puck stop have done a smashing job fitting you out. Yeah, absolutely. They've done an amazing job. We're just going through it all right now. They're showing me all the demo stuff, all the new gear coming in for the upcoming season. We're just kind of picking colors and sorting everything out. So. Uh, no, it's an amazing store. Obviously, they got everything here, so it's pretty cool to do yeah, this. Yeah, it's handy to have it just over the arena. Most of the guys come and have lunch here, just look around. Here. Well, yeah, definitely. No, I'm sure I'll be here a few times in the future. Jackson Whistle, the worst kept secret in British ice hockey, but uh, one of the biggest signings that perhaps any club will make this summer. Yeah, I mean, we, we you know we looked at our we looked at our team and, and what we thought we needed, and uh, we want to get a little bit younger. Uh, you know, throughout our lineup. That doesn't mean that we don't want experience around that. But uh, I feel over the last two years, Jackson has been a, a huge reason that uh, when he's played against us, I, that, you know, the Belfast Giants won. I mean, they, Belfast have a great team, but I thought Jackson really competed in net, you know, and, uh, and I think he's going to be a, an outstanding goaltender for us going forward. And, uh, you know, I like his competition level. And, 
and he was a thorn in our side for the last couple of years. So, you know, to get a guy like that, and obviously Jackson being British, having the British passport, gives us that flexibility throughout our lineup as well. So, uh, you know, we're overjoyed to have him. He's a goalie on the up as well. Oh, absolutely, he's on the up. You know, I mean, you can see Bouncy, you know, his game right now, and especially when, you know, where he was with the national team this year and proving that, you know, he's a... He's an excellent, excellent goaltender, if not the best in the Elite League. And, uh, and I feel Jackson's going the right way. And we wanted to get into a, a, a position where we had the same opportunities as other teams. How important was the Britishness to making the signing? Well, foremost, you know, a goaltender, and we had a very good one in Mustakovs, but a goaltending position is you, whether you've got a passport or whether you haven't, you have to be good enough to play at this level. And he's proved he has. And he is. So, and then the added bonus, obviously, having his passport and the British passport, you know, which gives us that flexibility to bring in another import, if that's the road we go down. And it gives you a different dynamics throughout your roster by making a, a change in the goaltending position with him being British. Yeah. It, it, there's yeah, a yeah. flexibility down yeah, yeah. the lines. Uh, yeah, because it gives you that extra import opportunity. So, yeah, you know, it puts us in a better position. What do you know about his brother? Because uh, obviously they, they come as a package and uh, an exciting young 20-year-old. Well, they didn't come as a package, actually. I mean, they come together and they're going to be living together, but they didn't come as a package. I mean, you know, I signed Jackson on the back of what I felt Jackson did against us for the last couple of years and what he's done against other big teams in the league. And, uh, you know, and then obviously I got to find out about his brother. He's 20-year-old. He played in the, the British Columbia Junior Hockey League, the BCHL, which is, you know, the main feeder to the NCAA Division I teams. And, you know, he was just under a point a game there. And, uh, you know, he's a big kid like Jackson. He's got good size, 6'1", 6'2"-ish. And uh, he's a young guy that's, you know, starting his pro career with us. And uh, we're excited to see where we can, we can take him.